YouTube, my name is Wildboy5699, and welcome back to another episode of Storytime of Wildboy. Now, I made a poll, gosh, about a couple of weeks ago, asking which story do you want to hear next? How I got swatted nine times in one day, or how I got a month in in school suspension? And most of you guys wanted to hear the story about how I got swatted nine times in one day. So, I'm going to tell this story, and it's kind of a sad story, to be honest, because this was at a time where I was living in Oklahoma, and nobody gave a shit about me, and... Still to this point to this day, nobody gives a shit about me. But anyway, I wanted to talk, talk about the story. So, uh, so anyway, this is the story. So, when I went, I, I pretty much went to school in Oklahoma pretty much up until sixth, uh, seventh grade. And then I went to this one particular school where my dad grew up in. And this is the only thing he knew at the time. And I guess uh, the principal, who was still the principal there, they did not get along with each other when they were high school. From I think she's still the principal over at the, at the elementary school. And so, and basically, we've had I've, we've had many issues with this school beforehand. Up until like, from basically from when we were there up until then, it was just a living fucking hell. And the story, it's so a we. My mom pulled me out of the school one time because the principal there, basically, she thinks that any kid with a disability, especially if they're on the autism spectrum, any she thinks that every kid who is has a disability is a brat and. It needs a needs a whoop and needs an ass whoop and that's her words. Apparently, my mom had enough of that. Took me out. Of, this is back and forth where she homeschooled me for a while. And I can tell you, my mom is no I has no teaching degree whatsoever. But she's a better teacher than most of those schools in Oklahoma. And so, and finally, she even told my dad that they're not gonna buy into the label and they're gonna put me, they put me out of the special ed program at the at the, my last year there. And my dad's like, well, when you fucking get somebody who does it, let me know. And so, but anyway, uh, so in fourth grade, she basically said, the principal said that they didn't care about my, any of my disabilities or my autism or anything about that. I was just a problem child, in my opinion. I think the principal there still has the same issue because I've heard many people have that issue with the kid with disability or autism and all that. She still does the same fucking things about it. So I don't even know why she's still a principal, principal like that. But it's Oklahoma. They, they don't care. But, um, so my mom took me out of home, uh, took me out of that school and homeschooled me from like, September, October, up until uh, January, to where I went back, and basically it was just the same issues. Fifth grade, same thing. Sixth grade was probably the worst school year of my life. Uh, basically, my mom was just like, "Okay, you know, SWAT, SWAT." My mom was like, "Okay, you can just spank him, SWAT him, and don't call me or anything." Apparently, that's her own fault. She admitted that she was wrong, but she's about to take the hand to school out of school, and so that got the school an idea to give me a hard time because they know if I would act up. They could do all this stupid shit to where I did not like and do it because there was nothing I can do about it. And if I spoke about it, I would get swatted and not call my mom or anything. So I had the sixth grade teacher. Every group assignment we had, she would put me with a, my, a bully, a person who did not like me. And she did it on purpose because she knew that if I said anything about her or got upset about it, she would send to the office and get swatched without calling my mom. Which, I don't know if corporal punishment is still legal or whatever, or Oklahoma, in Oklahoma. I said this fucking school town that's in trouble i don't know if corporal punishment's still legal in oklahoma but um by the time it was so i got, the main reason why i got swatted in nine nine times in one day is because i threw a fucking english book onto the floor i had no idea why i threw it and so i went i knew i was getting swatched so i ran to the bathroom and locked myself in there until the, one of the people called me out, dragged me to the office, and swatted me three times. And then I got mad, hollered and cried. Took me to the other room, swatted me again. And I would kept on crying because it hurt. Took me back there five minutes later and swatted me not three more times. And that's when I just stopped and calmed down because I, I had to go to uh, therapy, uh, not therapy, uh, physical therapy that day. Because every Tuesday, I got to get out of school early and get to go to therapy. Not like counseling therapy, but like physical therapy because I was so weak. I'm still in and I felt like my butt, my uh, my butt was bruised, and it was. I felt like it bruised. They bruised it because it hurt when I sat down. And the counselor there was like, "Well, you probably deserved it." I'm like, "Thanks." No counselor would ever say that shit unless you're fucking Doctor Phil. But that's a whole other story. But uh, I went home to take a shower that night. I dropped my pants to see if I see I did get bruised, and surely enough, my entire ass was bruised from night swats. And I don't bruise easily. I don't bruise easily. Uh, but I showed, took, came my mom, she got in there, she was furious, and so she sent me up to the school that same day, this was like 4 o'clock at night, she was at the basketball game, and I told her down to the office, mom dropped down the pants and says, you will never touch him again, if you do, we will take legal action. I'm surprised nobody 
ever as taking legal action for this fucking school, especially to the principal. But uh, I did not get any more swats for the entire year. So, I mean, it was still a shithole school, shithole town, and like everybody there thought I was a problem child. Everybody there thought I was a brat, and what I needed, nobody cared about me, my disability, and all that. What I needed was a good ass whooping, but apparently in their eyes. Um, and so we had enough because they guess they didn't care because I was going over the junior high next year. And so my parents took me out of my parents took me and my fa brothers and sisters out of the school and took me over to the another state is where we are now. And uh, so and now and now there's another story. The same year, uh, this is the next year in seventh grade, that was my first year in middle school, and it was just the same issues. Not with teacher wise, but this was the next year. I got like a month of in school suspension. Almost got sent into a mental institution. But um, but that's a whole other story. I know this one was really short, but I made comments. But I made talked about this subject a lot a lot at times i know i made an entire video talking about how much i hate or oklahoma but i should have retitled the video about why i hate oklahoma schools and then like from my like um 11th grade up until 2019 i took my entire friend my the friends with i was on facebook that went over to school i, I elementary i took them off I went to Instagram and social media saying, fuck this town, this is nothing but an inbred hillbilly town, fuck this place, fuck this school and everything, to where most of them mostly blocked me on Facebook, and then uh, I came to make amends, I learned to forget, uh, after talking to somebody, so I was like, you gotta learn to forgive and let go, I know, I know it hurts, but you just gotta learn to forgive and let it go now, and I thought long and hard about it, I said, you know what, yeah, I'm 20 years old, going on 21, this was almost 10 years ago, this was over 10 years ago, it's about 12 years now, and so I just like, you know, yeah, I, I've learned to let it go now, but, uh, I made, I came to man's, um, hit, uh, pretty much friend from request. Everybody went to school in uh, Oklahoma, but, um, I talked to a couple, talk, couple people over there. My sister's boyfriend, his sister's what was in the grade I was in and we did not like each other. So we're good friends now. Like she comes over every now and then for, uh, Thanksgiving or 4th of July or all that, which we've done all that. Um, but Pretty much, yeah, the more little stories, I learned to let that go now. I've learned to forgive and moved on. Um, I still think this, the town is a shithole town, and I do think the principal needs to be needs to get stepped down and either take something, learn more about kids with disabilities, because even even 10 years later, she still, from what I've heard, she still thinks that kids with disabilities are problem childs, and it's absolutely ridiculous, but then again, it's Oklahoma schools. And then I moved over here, and... I've been here since 2011, got sent to a therapeutic day stream for a couple of years, and then back to high school, and then graduated college, and here we are. So that's pretty much it. I know this was a shorter story, uh, story of a while, but that's pretty much the story of how I got swatted nine times in one day. And then uh, that's pretty much it. If you had any stories or troubles with high school, with elementary or schools in general, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.